how to use the Deity TC1 with several different devices. This video is not sponsored. What's in the box? Not that much. Three devices and a few cables. There is TRS to TRS, TRS to BNC and TRS to ARI. That's it, unfortunately no hard case. There are two kinds of devices. The ones that have a dedicated timecode input and the ones that do not. I think most commonly BNC is used for timecode. The Zoom F8n, for example, has BNC in and supports timecode. The Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro as well. The newer Pocket Cinema cameras support timecode as well. And cameras that do not have dedicated timecode in can still record timecode on an audio track. Let's have a look at the device and the menus. To scroll through, turn the wheel and press to confirm. The first thing you need to know is how to lock and unlock the device. After 50 seconds, it turns off the screen and goes into locked mode. To unlock, you have to press the power button three times. If you set the device to master run, it becomes the device to generate the main timecode. If you set it to auto jam, it gets the timecode from the master device. And jam once and lock does the same thing but locks it afterwards. So it won't be changed, for example, if you use the smartphone app to change it again. Next up, the frame rates. You can choose between 23.98 and 30. It is very important now that every camera and every device is set to the same frame rate and timecode. Which means all my cameras and audio devices are turned to 25, because I'm from 25 land and the TC1s will be set to a timecode base of 25. Most devices don't support more than 30. As far as I understand, you could set the frame rate of your cameras to double, which means the first frame and the second frame would both be labeled timecode frame 1. The letter stands for groups, so all devices you wish to sync to one master need to be in the same group number. This is the input and output menu, L in accepts, L in stands for line level input, L out for line level output and A out for mic level output. The mic level output is mainly for cameras that can only record timecode on the audio track. Dedicated timecode in and outputs use line level. If the device is set to be the master device, you have this TC option. Let's synchronize two devices. One is set to master, the second one to auto jam. On the master device, go into the timecode menu and press sync. The LEDs will flash red and once they're synced up, they turn green. You can also use the Bluetooth app, then you'll see a blue LED. The app is pretty self-explanatory. BT stands for Bluetooth and the first time you use it with the app, you have to press reset in this menu. And last, the device settings such as the name, the duration the screen stays on before going to sleep, the firmware on the device and updates. Let's connect some devices. First of all, the Ursa Mini Pro via the BNC timecode in. Once it's connected, it should automatically sync up. Sometimes you have to press the timecode on the screen to change from zero to the external. You now could disconnect the cable and the internal camera clock should continue the timecode but you never really know how accurate the camera internal clock is, so if you have enough timecode sync boxes, just keep it connected. Let's have a look at the F8n, which has a BNC timecode input as well. And to use timecode, you have to go into the menu, timecode, and switch the mode from off to external. Confirm, go back, and then turn external continuous on. This means if you disconnect the TC1, the internal clock will take over, just like the Blackmagic before did. If it's turned off, the moment you disconnect the cable, the time code defaults to zero. Our special guest, the Blackmagic 6K Pro, does not have a BNC time code in, but it will accept time code via the 3.5mm microphone input. Just take your TRS to TRS. By the way, you don't need to use DD's cable, you can use, for example, Rode's TRS to TRS cables as well. 
just connect it and the time code should be synced automatically. And you could disconnect it as well. But you should double check because I had situations where I disconnected it and the time code changed drastically. And lastly, let's have a look at a device that can just record audio tracks. For this camera, I changed the output settings from line level output to microphone level output. Just connect it to the microphone input and now the time code will be recorded as an audio signal on the channel 1. There's also a small microphone inside the TC1 and that records audio to channel 2, so you have reference audio. Let's hit record, do some tests and look at DaVinci and the post-processing afterwards. Once in Resolve, you can see the audio file has timecode. The Ursa Mini Pro has timecode and the Sony has timecode as well, but it is the camera internal timecode and not the recorded. To change this, right click and hit update timecode from audio track. And as you can see, timecode changed. Now we can go on in the timeline. On the Sony, you can see there's timecode on one channel and audio on the other. Just keep that in mind. Select everything, right click, auto align clips based on timecode. And it will automatically sync by timecode. It syncs up super fast, but it's not perfect. As you can see, the two cameras and the audio is off by one to two frames. Some cameras may have delay on the audio channel, so that could be a problem. I read that some Panasonic cameras are 8 frames off. So I guess then you would have to correct manually. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. Maybe I'm able to answer.